Have you ever stayed in an Airbnb before? Well, if so, then you're perfectly qualified to carry out the business plan that I'm going to walk you through in this video. You don't need any real estate experience. You don't need to own any property. All you need is a computer and a phone, and you can easily make six figures a year doing just this alone. There are two ways to carry out this business model. One way that's super easy and pays pretty well, and another way that takes a little more work but pays a lot. I'm gonna show you how to do both. I got the idea for this business model from an ad that I saw yesterday on Instagram, and I didn't even buy the product, I just saw the ad. So maybe what the product is selling is completely different than what I'm gonna describe in this video. But it's amazing how much amazing business knowledge that you can get just from watching other people's ads. It's pretty incredible. So I would certainly advise that if you wanna be successful in any kind of business, don't ignore ads. If you're on your social media, you know, you usually just scroll past the ads, right? Well, don't do that. Take a minute to look at the ads, actually analyze it figure out what they're doing. I'm thinking I'll make another video all about how to recognize which other people's ads are working, which ones are bringing in money, and how to gain valuable insights from them. So make sure that you're subscribed to my channel if you're not already. Anyway, I'm gonna give you the basic gist of this Airbnb business, and then I'm gonna tell you the exact steps to implement it. Now, the basic business model is that you are managing the Airbnb listings for people who own property in your hometown. A lot of people who own Airbnbs, that's not their main business. That's just something they do for a little bit of side income. So they have a job, they have a career, they have a business or something that they'd prefer to focus their attention on, and managing the Airbnb is just kind of a headache for them that they would rather not have to deal with. Also, a lot of them live in different cities from the properties they own, so that makes it pretty difficult for them to manage their Airbnbs. I know from experience because in the past I listed my own condo on Airbnb while I was outside of the country for extended periods of time and managing it from outside of the country was extremely difficult. I would have loved to have someone I could hire to do it for me. Anyway, if you live close to the properties, this is a very easy job. Basically, all you have to do is approve people's requests to stay, send a few messages back and forth, and then meet them with the keys. And you have to schedule a maid service to clean between the stays, which you know the renters are paying for anyway. So that's the basic business model. Now, like I said, there are two ways to do this. One way that's super easy and pays moderately well, and the other way that's a little bit more difficult but pays awesome. I'll start with the super easy way. By the way, if you like this video, please do me a huge favor and hit the thumbs up button and also leave me a comment below to let me know that you appreciate it. And of course, if you want more like this in the future, hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon beside the subscribe button so you'll be the first to get my new videos when they come out. And if you think this would be helpful to somebody that you know, please share it also. Okay, so here's the super easy way. The super easy way is you just go on Airbnb in your home city and then you find all of the listings that are available and you send a message to the owners. You know, when you're looking for listings, you don't have to book the listing, you can just send a message to the owners. So send a message to all the owners you find saying, hey, I noticed you have a listing in whatever city you're in and I wanted to know if you'd be interested in having me manage it for you. I'll do everything, I'll approve the guest requests, I'll do the check-in and check-out, I'll schedule cleaning and maintenance, and I'll visit the property when necessary. Basically, you don't have to do anything except sit at home and collect the money. Now that's a pretty enticing offer, right? Because you're focusing on the client's pain. Here they have this burdensome responsibility that they think they're stuck with, and you come along and say, hey, I could get rid of this burden for you. And you can play with the prices, see what people are willing to do, but I recommend starting out at 20%, 20% of the total income from the property. I recommend charging percentage rather than charging a fixed dollar amount. So you say, I'll charge you 20% rather than saying I'll charge you $500 a month because that way you are tying the amount of money that you make to the amount of money that they make. So they trust you to be committed to maximizing the amount of money that they make. Okay, so that's the super easy way. Now I'm gonna tell you the higher paid way to do this. I'm going to tell you how you can do it and how much money you can make. So in this model, instead of looking for people who already have their houses listed on Airbnb, you are looking for people who have houses that they're not using but are not listed on Airbnb. Now, you may or may not know this, but actually a lot of people own vacation homes that they only use for a small part of the year. My mom, for example, she has a house in Florida that she only lives in one or two months out of the year. And there are a lot of homes like this where the owners would love to make some extra money from them, but they just don't want the responsibility of having to rent them out themselves. If you can find these people, which I'm gonna show you how, then you can put their houses on Airbnb for them and take a nice big chunk of their profits. 
And by the way, if the economy goes south within the next couple months, which I think it will, as I described in this video, then this business model will be even better than ever because you're gonna have a lot of people who have these homes sitting vacant and they need the money. So they're gonna be overjoyed to be able to hire you to do this. Anyway, regardless of the economic situation, with these people, you can charge them a lot more than the people that already have Airbnb listings. And the reason for that is that you are actually gaining them money, right? Their houses are sitting vacant, they're not making any money from them, so you come along and you start making them money. With the people who already have listings, well, they're already making money, so you're getting paid to take away some of their responsibility. But with these people, you're taking them from zero to uh, whatever they make from the Airbnb minus your fee. So you are literally making them money. So it's a very valuable service. And because it's such a valuable service, you can get paid a lot to do it. So for these, I would recommend that you start by charging 50% of the profits. It's a pretty easy sell because again, you are putting money into their pockets without them having to do anything. Just to demonstrate how awesome an opportunity this is, let's look at some example numbers. I used to rent out my own condo on Airbnb and it was a one bedroom condo in a not particularly expensive city and I was making about $1,800 per month. So let's use that for our example. You rent a home that makes $1,800 per month, you charge 50%, so you take home $900 a month from that one home. And it really doesn't require very much work. So let's estimate that that requires nine hours per month for the sake of simplicity. Well, that means that $900 divided by nine hours, you are making $100 per hour on that home. If you get 10 houses like that, now you're making $9,000 per month and you're working about 90 hours. So 90 hours a month comes out to 22 and a half hours per week. That's six figures per year working part-time hours. Can you see how much the world opens up for you when you stop being a drifter, thinking in terms of jobs all the time, and start thinking in terms of providing value? Anyway, the way that you find these people who have homes that are sitting vacant for a large part of the year is to find a list of what is called absentee homeowners. Just Google the term absentee homeowners and you'll find a whole bunch of services that will be willing to sell you a list of people just like this. One website I found had a list of a thousand absentee homeowners for $70, which is basically nothing compared to the amount of money that you'll make doing this. I mean, you'll make $70 back in your very first client. So once you've got that list, just call or email everybody on the list with the same offer. Emphasize that you will do all of the work for them and all they need to do is get paid. How could anybody refuse an offer like that? Now, maybe you already know, but I'm constantly sharing information like this. So if you don't want to miss out on this gold mine of real business ideas, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon beside the subscribe icon so you get all the notifications when I come out with something new. Just to prove it to you, here is another full business plan for a six-figure business that you can build on YouTube without ever having to record a video. So check out that video here.